my name's Elise Elliott and this is unit two on how to roast on a campfire. Um, I've got a Dutch oven pot made of cast iron and today I'm going to be roasting some peppers because I'm vegan. Um, so first we're going to do the preparation. Before you start you need to make sure you have your fire first aid kit your fire safety gloves and a fire blanket just in case of any potential injuries. Um, you need to wash your food before you start, make sure there's a clean surface area. I've got my chopping board with me and I'm going to be placing my fruit and vegetables straight into the cast iron pot. Um, and then I'm going to be... Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's get going. First I'm going to wash my hands and I've got a little wash basin already prepared. So I'll just do the old 20 second rule. So first of all, I'm just going to take the hats off my feathers. I'm going to give these a little rinse first actually because they're just coming off the bag. Make sure you're clean and tidy when you do your cooking, get rid of any rubbish that you might have. So I'm just going to go with these rinse, make sure your hair's tied back. And you don't wash in the same bowl that you've got soap in. You've got the bottle over here. Okay. That's all done. And I've got my fire going behind me. So I'm going to try and do this as quickly as, but as safely as possible. Make sure you remove all the seeds. I'm going to be making quite a few today because my kids are going to be arriving after and I'm sure they'll be hungry. Good job I'm outside, don't need to worry about the mess as much. If it was the right time of year, maybe those things would even create pepper plants. And you just want to keep an eye on your fire as well. When we roast, it, it's, it is actually different to baking. Um, you're cooking at a higher heat than baking with an active flame. I think I saw it said something about 400. Celsius. I don't actually have a thermometer on me to check that, but I can feel the heat from here. So, just going to be placing these in my compost heap. Okay, and then I'm going to be stuffing these with some tomatoes, um, some rosemary, and a bit of courgette, and courgette flowers because I just think I love those. 
Um, I'm at my allotment, so I can um, just disregard seed. But generally, you don't even want to drop food waste on the floor because um, it encourages more pests into the environment. I'm going to place these straight in here, so they stand up, it's going to be a lot easier. washed my tomatoes because luckily they came off straight off the plant today. Sorry about the wobbly table. And then I'm going to add Those are my own children, I'm children by the way. Gonna add some rosemary. A little bit of smoked paprika.
Now really you should add a little bit of oil, but I can't seem to find oil, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'm going to put my fire safety gloves on. making sure the flames pop enough. So, let me just show you what it looks like, so you can see, this is the fire, I've prepared a little triangle square thing for it to rest on, I'm just going to place it onto the fire, hopefully you can see. I'm going to go in with the fresh position. And then, of course, place your lid on as well. Okay, so you have that on a high heat, I would say for at least. 20 minutes with peppers and um, keep the fire keep the flame going keep adding um, some fuel to the fire and then after that we'll be baking some bread so in the interim I'll be preparing the bread and in that way they will also give time for the coals to become hot enough to bake the bread on so that was unit two of roasting peppers um, I'll do a separate video to show you the outcome Thank you.